What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about the new DLC for Diablo 4, The Vessel of Hatred. And of course, when Diablo 4 was first released, it was a game that I played a lot. I've always been, you know, kind of uh, one of those people that enjoy MMOs, action RPGs, that kind of thing. Of course, I like to upload a lot of that kind of stuff here on the channel. But over time, a lot, like a lot of other people, I kind of stopped playing Diablo maybe sooner or later than some of you. But if you have not played in a while, I would recommend uh, picking up The Vessel of Hatred at some point. You wouldn't have to get it right now. Maybe when you catch it on sale or something like that. But it is very enjoyable. The things that to, to me that are really good about this is, of course, the new class. The Spiritborn class is absolutely awesome. I'm sure that's probably going to get nerfed at some point, maybe after this season's over, because it is very, very strong. Of course, we have companions or mercenaries, as they're called in games. You will have a companion that can travel with you. There's, of course, a new zone that is big. Uh, the part of the map that the new area is in is absolutely massive. We also have pets that can pick up some items for you uh, for you off the ground so you don't have to pick up everything, which is very handy as well. So to me, just that new zone, the companions, the Spiritborn class, and the pets make it worth uh, just playing at some point, like I said, even if you don't buy it right now at full price. Of course, when it comes to end game, I know a lot of people are kind of curious about that. What is there to do after you play the story part? Because it is not that long, and I'll kind of save that to the end of kind of what I think about that without any spoilers, of course. But for in game activities, you have the Dark Citadel, you have the Undercity, you have the uh, Infernal Hordes, of course, you have the Pit of Artificers, you have the Summon Bosses along with World Bosses, Hell Tides, and of course, still the Tree of Whisper Quest. So there is a lot of things here to do once you get to that in-game point. And in-game is a little quicker to get to now than it was in the past. In the past, of course, if you play, if you have not played in a while since uh, since this update, of course, the max level used to be 100. Now max level is 60. So this gives people a lot more uh, of a chance or a bigger opportunity to try different things. Of course, everyone's going to try that Spiritborn class it being the new class. But at the same time, you may want to go back in and try a Necro. You may want to try, uh, you know, uh, other class out there. I know a lot of people like the Necromancers. A lot of people like the Rogues and things like that. So only having to level to 60 allows you to be able to play more characters in a season. And I know that's a big turnoff for some people that may not have played Diablo in the past. When Diablo 4 was released, they realized they had to make a new character every season. So that makes it a bit easier, in my opinion, if that was something you were not a big fan of. Of course, when it comes to Paragon points, that also has changed some. Uh, you have a max of 300 points now, and those are account-wide. So you don't have to unlock those Paragon points on every single character. Your Paragon board will be available account-wide, which is a big change as well. That's a good quality of life change, in my opinion. When it comes to difficulty, we have normal, uh, normal mode up to Penitent. And, of course, we have also the Torment uh levels there as well so you have level one to four for torment so if you want to make the game more difficult you have tons of options to be able to do that there's a lot of itemiz uh, itemization changes as well in the game i'm not going to go over all of those because this would be a lot longer video if that was the case i just kind of want to give you guys a idea of what has changed in this dlc and why there's a lot of people even talking about uh, you know why they're really enjoying it the reviews were good from you know like reviewers from different game websites and stuff like that and that is because the new class and the companions and the new zone and the pets and all the stuff you can do in in-game is really really good of course um story-wise i think it could have been better I, I think that's probably the weakest part of the entire expansion the story is just okay. Like I said, I'm not going to spoil anything. It's not really that long. I'm going to say less than 10 hours. So probably 6 to 10 hours, somewhere in that, that that time frame to beat the story. But just in general, it does not really answer a lot of things that I think people were hoping for. And personally, the ending, a lot of you may already have seen some info about this when Blizzard leaked it. But at the same time, it's just not as in-depth or as good uh, as the story could have been compared to the original story when the game was released that story was really really enjoyable and this just kind of you can tell it's a dlc a story or an expansion story that they're going to add on to later down the road but overall like i said i think the story is probably the weakest part but all of the quality of life changes when it comes to leveling uh, the Paragon points, like I said, the different difficulty modes, the itemization changes, and then all the things you can do in in-game along with that new class, the companions, like I said, the, the large new zone and the pets, 
is something that I think will interest a lot of old school Diablo players, especially if you're a big fan of Diablo 3. But maybe if this was the first Diablo game you played, it has changed a lot over the last year. So it's definitely something I would recommend trying out at some point if you're not going to try it now. Like I said, maybe when you catch it on sale later down the road. But I definitely would give it a look. Give me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.